Hello guys and welcome back to my budget deck channel today with uh, the second variant I promised the uh, upload of a gimmick puppets it's a go first gimmick puppet variant yay trying to uh, put the trap the, the new trap to use and uh, seeing how that can go there is obviously uh, a little bit of difference possible in this deck profile I'll talk about every card why I run it uh, what other cards you could run there's obviously a lot of uh, side deck choices especially with this kind of deck but in the end I felt like uh, the deck worked out okay-ish like that, like uh, for gimmick puppets the deck worked quite well, you obviously can have some missed draws uh, in the first turn and then not be able to get your set up that great, uh, but in the end uh, what you're trying to do is basically get to your trap, if you can't get your trap then you probably will try to stall a little bit, Baguska comes to mind, uh, yeah, other than that uh, you basically try to get your trap off, stall and then uh, demolish your opponent in their next turn, which um, there's certain engines in this deck that help facilitate that. And to start off, with, I run double gimmick puppet magnet doll. You could run uh, three magnet dolls, but I feel like magnet doll uh, is coming in handy most of the time. But if you then draw it, since you're trying to go first, if you then draw it at the start too much and you don't really have a play because you can't use it because your opponent won't control the monster, yeah, that's a little bit problematic. So I would say. Uh, probably uh, running two of those but you can uh, obviously tune with the ratios a little bit um gimmick puppet bisk doll at three because you can discard stuff you run 16 gimmick puppet uh, gimmick puppet monsters in this deck so uh i feel like the effect kind of uh, works well sadly you can't discard any card which uh, leads me to the next card you can discard any card from machina cannon um which helps you set up stuff like dreary doll which helps you get up uh, stuff in the graveyard for the effect of the uh, Terra Baby, for example. So I feel like this card one in the deck makes sense. You don't want to play it too much because if you draw into too many of them, you have too many discards and you already have a few discards in the deck. So that could be bricky. Uh, having more than four cards that actually require discards would thins out your hand a little bit too much. So I felt like that was fine uh, you could take the centu to the graveyard to trigger uh, or make dreary doll life uh, a card that is very important in the stake machine dupe target obviously um and uh, in general sending it to the graveyard by foolish burial after you're done plays is quite neat i usually wouldn't run foolish burial in the deck because i feel like uh yeah, there's cards that add more to the deck, basically, in a sense, but uh, I think uh, for this variant, uh, Foolish Burial works pretty well, especially you kind of sometimes want to use card effects uh, like the one of uh, Bisk Doll or the one of Terror Baby in the graveyard, so your opponent can't respond to the activation of Gimmick Puppet Monsters, which can be quite neat, um, since then you can get your Link Monster out and start your plays and all those kind of things, so uh, getting those to the graveyard isn't always too bad as well. You don't use the effects of them uh, too much, but sometimes it comes up. And Dreary Doll being able to summon itself uh, out of the graveyard is quite neat. Um, one artifact scythe with the artifact engine because you run Trap Trick. Um, I know this card is somewhat pricier. I mean, it got its reprint, so it's fair to say if you really want to commit to this build, then that's fine. You don't have to run it. You could swap that out with like Triple Solemn Judgment, Triple Solemn Strike, go for uh, Ash Blossoms, or whatever, which are basically not the same price, I feel. But I felt like the Artifact Engine actually supports a lot of the style that you want, uh, <coughs> excuse me, that you want from the stick because uh, in the end, what it does is uh, your opponent will span the board a little bit or smaller monsters, so you have a setup for your trap. You he won't be able to not summon anything, but um, he won't be summoning anything that disrupts you too much during your turn to actually profit from it. So I felt like if you already drew into your puppet parade or if you really need to shut down your opponent, uh, artifact sanctum at two plus one scythe could be nice. You could play the triple uh, sanctum as well if you want to. You could cut stuff like foolish burial or maybe one junk puppet and uh, those kind of things if you want to play more of a control variant uh, with this deck. So I feel like uh, that does a lot for the deck. You could play a moral tag as well, technically speaking. Wouldn't be too bad, but yeah. The only problem with the Artifact Scythe is that it gives you another monster, so it makes the whole Puppet Parade thing a little bit less good in a sense, but technically you could still uh, use Puppet Parade first and then use Artifact Scythe and all those kind of things. You have a lot of options in, in that kind of regard. Plus, that card really buys you one turn to finish off your opponent then, basically. Um, next up, one Tether Wolf. You don't have to play it, but I feel like it gives you easy access uh, into your Link Monster, and then you have four uh, cards, or like mm, technically it's even more cards than that, but you have a lot of cards in the deck that can normal summon, so I feel it, uh, and then have an effect. So I felt like Tether Wolf wasn't necessary. You could play another Machina Cannon instead of Tether Wolf. I wanted to give that option, having like a level fours possibly as well. I uh, felt like the card was kind of good, but in the end, um, 
yeah, you don't have to play it. That's just more of a tech choice here uh, at this place. Double gimmick puppet egg egghead. Yeah, that's kind of weird because uh, usually you want to at least like you want to minimize um, play actually well at maximum play one of those if not uh, even none of them. But I feel like you needed more um, actual gimmick puppet names in the deck, and I feel like this card is. The most versatile of the uh, the remaining ones and uh, can help you in time, can help you finish a duel, can help you set up your graveyard a little bit with discarding stuff from your hand, can um, help you go into rank fours because uh, now you have rank fours, especially for this build. Rank fours can be kind of crucial, so uh, that can be quite nice. Um, Gimmick Papa Terror Baby, getting stuff out of your graveyard with the discard effects that you have, that can be super nice. You have to watch out that not be negated, but other than that, uh, plus it's a neat um, machine dupe target. So that works pretty well with Jerry Doll and uh, Humpty Dumpty. You have three uh, targets for machine dupe, so basically the card will never be useless. And with the Link Monster, most likely the card will never be useless at all because you can just search a target for uh, machine dupe. So I feel like machine dupe is pretty good in this deck. Uh, Humpty Dumpty is basically. The same, but even better, a little bit if you discard this card, you can actually like do some crazy chaining there uh, with chain summoning, um, basically summon it out of the graveyard uh, because I don't think the uh, yeah the, the effects don't get negated. So you, then if it's special summon, could still summon one from hand, but most of the time you won't have that many resources in your hand left. So uh, yeah, it doesn't help that much, but you could even use it with uh, the... Um, with the effect because that does not uh, negate the uh, monster effect as well with the trap card so technically Humpty Dumpty is a pretty neat card but yeah most of the time uh, being able to summon enough stuff from your hand is not your problem so I feel like it's not as good as it sounds like but this helps you go into your link monster as well maybe unbrick in a hand or two um, effect Valor, well, disruption during your opponent's turn so he doesn't go off too much because this is the weird thing. If you have the trap card, you kind of want your opponent to go off a little bit, but not too much. So that's a little bit of a, of a weird kind of thing uh, that's happening there. But yeah, I think Effect Baylor kind of does that. If you want to play Ash Blossom, that's fine with me as well. One uh, rank up Magic Nubron Force, you could play two, but I felt like one was definitely enough in the deck. If you get the effect of ones, first of all, your life points have to be lower, so you have to use the trap card somewhat after a mid-battle battle phase, so this kind of effect comes up. And I feel like you didn't want to draw this card too much, especially since you're going first, so you will not be able to use this most of the time. I uh, felt like one was definitely enough in this deck, but you, I can see why people want to play more of them. Machine Dupe, already talked about that. Junk Puppet, basically Monster Reborn, helps you extending your plays, which is quite nice. Can only activate once per turn, so playing this more than two in the deck felt kind of bricky and unnecessary. One Foolish Burial, mainly for Jerry Doll, or one of the effects of Bist Doll and Terror Baby, possibly. Uh, otherwise, uh, some graveyard setup works, but this is one of the cards I would say don't have to run. Uh, Monster Reborn, I like the card, it's pretty neat in my opinion in this deck as well, extending your plays. Already talked about Artifact Sanctum, is a neat card in the deck, don't have to play it, but I think uh, it actually does stuff for the deck. Uh, Puppet Parade, pretty nice, uh, being able to special summon multiple monsters from your deck if the setup works, and then set one rank up magic if your life points are 2000 uh, lower than your opponent ones, which... I don't know why that clause is there, but I guess there's some effects that would cost you life in theory, but yeah, not really uh, necessary there, but okay. Uh, one tech card that I decided to run is Breakthrough Skill uh, 2 because you play in um, Trap Trick and if you feel like Artifact Sanctum, you already drew it or it doesn't help you or whatever, um, you can just fetch that card because this card helps you first of all if you set it it's somewhat like effect where yes your opponent can clear it so it's not as good and the permanence would probably be a little bit better which is arguably because I will talk about that in a second as well the thing is with this card you negate um, effect monster you can search off of trap trick you can just if you hard draw it that's fine as well plus during your next turn then you can still use this if your opponent managed to get one negate on board still even though uh, you try to disrupt him whatever you can use breakthrough skill again in your graveyard target one effect monster uh, your opponent controls negate the effect of the card again and then uh, basically otk or go through the monsters a little bit better so i feel like this card in the deck actually does make sense and i think worked out pretty fine trap trick has uh, already uh, some targets with artifact sanctum with puppet parade and uh, breakthrough skill so i feel like the card is barely ever a dead card we always have to look uh when you use stuff like this, because if you use trap trick, you can't activate, uh, you can only activate one trap card for the rest of the turn after the card resolves. So uh, if you have puppet parade, then uh, that can lead to a 
few problems in a sense because your opponent is gonna try to get rid of this card then possibly because you want to activate puppet parade beforehand so it's kind of hard to then still do stuff like artifact sanctum and break through skill but it's still possible so i feel like uh, that definitely works out right, for the extra deck uh one number c40 uh one uh number c15 that's the both the, the targets for the rank of magic um, one uh, Hope Harbinger Dragon, uh, one uh, Galaxy Ice Tachyon Dragon, basically for if you ever uh, not go into your gimmick puppet monsters or not forced to go into because there are certain setups where you can, but uh, not that many I feel. Um, double or gimmick puppet of strings, I feel like that's a card that it has 3000 attack, so and if you rank it up you can nuke your opponent's board then that's that's great i guess it's fine uh, you have two uh, gimmick puppet uh, giant grinder you could play three actually i feel like three would be okay-ish you could even take one out uh, strings out basically because i feel like this card comes in handy the most it doesn't help you otk that much though because sadly this card has horrible uh, values of like attack and defense so i feel like that is the biggest problem of this card, but being able to destroy uh, two special summit monsters, um, yeah, your opponent will barely have a normal summon monster on the board, so I think the effect's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, targets, but I guess that's the best you can uh, hope for in gimmick puppets. One Baguska, if you go in first and you have some rank four engines in the deck, that can work out. Um, double, uh, double puppet Gigantus Doll, because, well, helps you to do certain things against stuff like Thunder Dragons or whatever. It's... Uh, works out i guess with the second effect but other than that you just snatch them uh yeah they, uh, they you can not declare an attack if they're not playing exist monsters so it's it, it still works getting rid of your opponent's monsters being able to target two monsters is uh, still pretty good in my opinion um double uh, not double but the the nightmare package the cheap one um because you don't need any high up link monsters you could play them but i feel like you really don't need any nightmare phoenix uh nightmare the unicorn or any of that or moral load moral sword those kind of cards you barely ever need them could play them but most of the time you're going to be locked into stuff um anyway because of your link monster which you play two of you could play three but it has never come up for me more than twice because your resource game with gimmick puppets is okay you have some uh, ability of recovering but it's not so good that you will be needing three because till that point you'll probably have won or lost already. What you could either play in the deck is obviously stuff like Twin Twister, mainly for the side deck because there's back row decks and uh, yeah, they screw you up a little bit. Um, Solemn Judgment is a card that uh, works with the deck a little bit. Helps you fulfill the Puppet Parade kind of uh, restriction as well to search your Numeron Force, so that is all good. Other than that, could play one Scissor Arms, but I feel like the card isn't as good anymore. Um, could play a different rank up spell, could play Barrier's Force, uh, but I felt like Numeron Force was uh, the stronger one in that kind of regard. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the deck profile. I hope you're happy with my card choices. If not, let me know why. Let me know what else you want to see in the deck. What uh, is your spicy tech choice for those this kind of build? And I hope you're having a good day.